Hello. Hello. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing? Hi. How are you tonight? Hello. Let me see who do we have. Noel. Can you hear me? Okay. Osme, Jose, and Javier. Welcome. It's nice to see you again. Nice to have you back. Thank you for being in class. All right. Well, are you ready for tonight's class? Yeah. Yes. No, why not? Okay. Well, let's begin. Let me share my screen with you. Yeah. Okay, one second. So last night we were studying was, what did we study last night? Do you remember? It was where mm -hmm. the past negative. Not the negative form though. We didn't practice that. Um, but okay, so what we studied last night was making yes, no questions with was and where and yes, no questions with did, right? That's what we did last night. Okay, now what I want you to do is a, a small exercise, a very short one. I'm going to send it to you so that you can work on it. And I will also send you, let me see, pass. Okay, let's do something together, all right? Okay, last night we practiced questions. For example, where are you? Can you give me an example? Where are you born? Mm -hmm. Or were you at school yesterday? We practiced, right? What was the short answer? You say yes, why? Yes, I was. Uh, yes, I was. And if it's negative? Yes, I, I wasn't. wasn't. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. And if I said, for instance, did you have lunch? Did you have lunch last night? What is the short answer? Yes, yes I did. Yes, I did. did exactly. Or? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ok, les voy a dar un tip para hacer las respuestas cortas. Siempre fíjense en la pregunta, ok. Si acá dice where, hay que usar el paso de verb be, ok. Y si acá es did, you use did for the answers, ok. So if I say, for example, are you, this is another example, or it's separate. Are you going to study tomorrow? What is the answer in this case? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Exactly, because it's a verb be, right? Let me see. Les voy a dar un ejemplo que no, de, un, de algo que no conozcan, para que vean. Probablemente no conozcan. Okay. Good. Este es un tip. No se van a confundir. Esto es un paréntesis, okay? It's a paréntesis. So, would you buy a house if you had then one million dollars okay what is the short answer yes i would yes i, I, would. I mean, yes i would or no no i, would. I would. wouldn't okay so that is a rule okay in general Perfect. So what we have to practice tonight is affirmative, negative, and questions all together. Okay. I would say something like I I studied I studied late yesterday. What is the negative form? How do I make this sentence I, negative? I didn't study like this. Like this? No. Is that okay? No, it's okay. 
Because no. Because you have a double negative Adi. sentence. The auxiliary is in the past, exactly. So this is infinitive, Perfect. right? Okay, what is the question form? Yes, no question. Did I? Uh -huh. Did I? Did I, did I study I late yesterday? Study. Okay. Like, Possible answers? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Very good. Okay, now a WH question. How do we form that? Okay, otro tip. Es que las preguntas de WH son idénticas a las de yes, no questions, okay? Solo se le agrega el WH al principio. ¿Cómo sería entonces? How would we make it then? Where is it? Ajá, very good. Where? And look, I'm going to copy paste. Yeah. Copy, paste. It's the same structure. Okay? This is the difference. Everything else is exactly the same. Y en todos los tiempos, presente, futuro, pasado, perfecto, siempre es idéntica a la yes, no question. Solo se le agrega el WH al principio. Esos son tips para todos los tiempos. Ok. So that it's easy for you to understand. All right. I, sorry, yes. sorry, Miss, I have a question. Um, oh. If we want to answer this, this question, um, mm -hmm. we will respond. In present, I refer for the verb, mm -hmm. the, the correct um, answer is will, for example, yes, I, I did study or I did study it. Mm, no, in this case, Jose, this is an open question. So you can say whatever you want, okay? Whatever you want to say. But for example, you can say, where did you study yesterday? Well, you can say, I studied in, in, in the park. Right? You can say whatever you want. Even this is acceptable. You can say, mm, I don't remember. It's okay, because it's an open question. But the verb is, the, the, <clears throat> well, the correct answer, the verb is, is going to be in the past. Uh -huh. Your answer should ideally be in the past, yes. The answer has to be in the past, meaning that you have to use ED, or you have to use didn't, or you have to use a regular verb. Okay. In this case, the answer is, where did you study, did you study late? And uh, where did you, where did I study yesterday? Okay. In this case, you're going to say, I studied. And we're using, we're using ED. It can also be negative, right? Okay, so I'm going to send you a list of irregular verbs so that we can practice. Okay, but let's do one more exercise. One more, all together. Mm, we're going to work with the verb. What is the past of go, guys? What is the, the verb in the past? When? Go, when. When okay, you know that one. This is irregular. Okay, now the sentence will be We went to the beach, we went to Mexico last year. Okay, what is the negative form of this? We want, want, we, we didn't we, go, we didn't go, weren't. No. It didn't go. No, acuérdense que weren't y wasn't solo era el verbo be. Para ah, todos okay. los demás verbos, didn't or, or did. <clears throat> it's like this. We didn't. This is affirmative, right? We didn't what? Go. We didn't Mexico go. Here. Didn't go. To Mexico last year. To Mexico last year, exactly. Write down the example if you can, because we're going to practice, okay? And what is the yes, no question? Yes, no question form. Yes, we went. Uh -huh. No, but the question. Did we go to the... Did we go to Mexico exactly last year? Very good. Now we use the auxiliary. 
Okay, is it okay for me to say yes, we went? Is this correct? Is this okay? Yep. yep. Yes, we did. Uh huh. It's not okay. No. It's yes, we did. Exactly. Les decía al principio hay que responder con el auxiliar que se pregunta. Okay, so yes, we did. Not with the verb. And what is the WH question? When 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 did we go? When did we go? When did we go? Uh -huh. And it's identical. I said right. It's identical to this one, except that I add the WH word. So when did we go to Mexico? But I will I will delete this. So what is the answer? When did we go to Mexico? We go the last year. We're gonna say we. We went. We went. We, went we did. Paris. We went. To we went to Mexico. Last year. Last year. Last year. Last year. Exactly. Okay. So this is the example, and this is what I need you to do with the exercise. Do you have questions about this? No. No, it's more like a review. I think you studied this in previous modules, right? So it's only a review. Okay, and this is what we have to do. We're gonna do this exercise here. Past simple. With all the tenses, all right? Affirmative, negative, or questions. Look, this is negative, okay? This is affirmative. This is WH questions. You can identify it here. Negative, affirmative, question, all right? So I want you to follow this, this model, to do the exercises, as many as you can. We're gonna do this for seven minutes, okay? So let me send you the link to practice. Let me send it here. All right, check the chat. And I will send it to WhatsApp too, but open the chat, all right? Let's work on the plat on the, on the exercise. And in small groups, okay? Ready? Yes. Let's do the exercises, okay. Um, in groups of three, we're gonna work. So accept the invitation, everyone, and let's practice. Let's practice right now. Everybody accept the invitation, please. We can accept. Accept the invitation, Victor, Javier. Victor Cubillas. Victor. Hi, Victor. And, Fra and, and Raul. Okay, great. I sent it already. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Share the screen. That's good. So that is negative, right? I think is I didn't drink any beer mm -hmm. last night. It's negative. Yes, very good. Any bear last night? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Only use there. Did, use did not or didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. But when, when you put check, is good or bad? When so I in put my did, case, when, it's when I put did not, it's, it's, it's okay. I, put I did right. not drink, it's okay. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. It's okay. She yeah, okay. Uh, got on. Got on. She didn't get. She did not get on the bus. Uh -huh. Oh no, she wasn't. Oh no, she wasn't. Uh -huh. Hi. Hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> bueno, yo no puedo ingresar. Don't remember in the affirmative form. I sent you the list. What time he got up yesterday? What? No. No, remember that the WH question is identical to the it's almost identical to the yes, no question. Last night we were yes. practicing, did you go? Did you study? So you simply add WH at the beginning, right? For example, where, when, and who. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in this case- What time did, did he get up yesterday? No. What time he get up? But you need the auxiliary, guys. What, what time did, did, did he get up yesterday? Exactly. What time, what time did he get up yesterday? Uh, You're going okay. to use the auxiliary. The... Como lo puso? She didn't get on. Only, Only, solo get on. Only got on. With O. Got. Yes. She got on. Yeah. Yes, it's okay. She Very she cool. got on the bus in the center of the city. Uh -huh. I, I am putting One that, but it doesn't work. In trains, trains at Victoria. I no. didn't change. Trains at Victoria. I didn't not change. I didn't. No. Oh, no. okay. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. 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 Yes. In the in the six is a question is a. I think uh, the six is we woke up a very late. Is, exactly. We woke woke up. We woke up very late. Very late. What he what did what he, he give his mother what, for Christmas? Ah, uh, exactly. What did he give his mother for Christmas? In in this question, we're gonna put in a in in the test in internet. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's just for practice at the class, I think. Ah, yeah. All right. We wake up. We wake up. Get up. He gets. Get up. Get so, up. What time? He get. Mm, no, you have to use auxiliary. Mm -hmm. What time? Mm -hmm. Did he? Yes, exactly. Did he, he get up? He, Nobody uh, wrong. <laughs> really? He, yeah. What time I don't did know he what. get up? Okay, yeah. okay very did good. Did he get up? Did what he time? get up? Mm -hmm. What time did he get up yesterday? Yes. But in the platform, yes. it's wrong. Use the, use yes. the form. Maybe... If I put the point, no. Number four is, did you get up? Did you get up? 
Yes. Ah, off. Four. Look, guys, I sent you this. This is the structure for yes, no, for WH questions, okay? In the, I, mm -hmm. I don't have my cell phone. Traté de leer, teacher, pero no pude. This is number five. Sandra and Alan. Number five is I, did it, I didn't change friends at Victoria. I didn't change. I didn't. I didn't. I did not. Pues. Uh -huh. I, didn't. <laughs> I, didn't. I didn't change. Trains at Victoria. We we not use the computer last night. We didn't. Okay. But no, it's not question. No, no, no. Okay. It's affirmative. It's mm -hmm. affirmative. No, we it's, didn't it's use. We didn't, we we didn't, didn't use. use the computer last night. Yes. That is that's affirmative. You question. Yes. Question is, did we? But I said oh, we did. Uh -huh. Okay. We didn't use the computer last night. We didn't use night. the computer last night. Okay, vamos. Now. I didn't use. Utilizar celular, bebé. Pero si es algo que sea como que. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, no, no. You need help? Yeah. Do you guys need help? Jose? Jose? Yeah. No, for me no. You're good? I, How, what I number are you working on? Okay. What exercise are you on? Number 10. 10, okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. We woke up. We woke up very late. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't work. I don't know what is the problem, but we woke up very late. You have questions? You need help? And maybe the platform okay. for me it didn't it doesn't work. What English corporativo platform? Yeah. Oh, you have to you have to message um, the numbers. If you check the chat on WhatsApp, they give you phone numbers to to request assistance. Ah, okay, but I I was doing the this exercise, the number one, and then I got correct the the, the sentence. Uh, this is not the platform. This is another website. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So no, not the maybe platform. maybe I I didn't I don't uh, writing writing good. But... Uh huh. Maybe it was not the apostrophe. Maybe. Yeah. Probably. Okay. What exercise are you on? What number? Number six. Uh -huh. We woke we woke up very late. We woke up. Mm -hmm. We woke up very late. Number seven. What? what he did he do? Yeah. Is the sentence no have a pronoun? Uh -huh. Only verb change a past. The verb. Is yes, okay the exactly, sentence. exactly. If, 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 si tiene, uh, it has, he ha, this, what? If it has, if this has, has uh, a pronoun, uh, pronouns, mm -hmm. I put did. Exactly, did, in the question. Pronoun, 
Ah, hindi ko siya. Yes. yes. I, exactly. I see. <laughs> exactly. You got it. What did he give? Number seven. What did he give? Ah, number seven is what did he We finished t-shirt. Really? Yes. Okay, some people are in number six right now. <laughs> so you have done a lot. That's good. Let's go back then. Thank you. Almost finished. Almost. <laughs> okay, good. Some people finished. Yeah. So this exercise to as homework, all right? Do it as homework because it's very important to finish understanding past simple. And yeah. also you have to do those two things, okay? This is not part of the platform, but it's additional information and additional exercises because it's a it's a complex topic. Okay, so my recommendation is to finish the exercises on the link, all right? Exercises. What am I writing wrong? And the other one is to memorize the 50 verbs that I sent you. Okay, I sent you a list. So memorize these two. Size. Okay, so we're gonna get speaking right now. Make things easier. So what I want you to use is the negative or the affirmative form. Here is the list. If you don't remember the verb in the past, use the list, okay? So we're gonna discuss, for example, tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go and what did you do? Okay, so I want you to have a conversation and say, I went because that's the past of go. And I did this, I ate with my friends, I traveled. Okay, discuss using the verbs, all the verbs in the past. Is that clear? Okay, uh, can you take a screenshot of this, please? We're gonna discuss these questions in groups. If you don't remember the verb, it's okay. Don't worry, use the list, okay? Yes. Um, take a picture, please. Hold on, let me send it to a group, hold on. Mm -mm. One second. Let me take a picture. What did you What did you meet last week? That's the last, right? What did you meet? What did you meet last week? Yeah, I will send you more than one picture because we have more. I have more questions. Oh, okay, okay. But start with this one, okay? So let's work in groups. Okay. Let's get speaking. Use the verbs in the past. Tell me about your last vacation. All right, exit the invitation, please. Hi, oh, you didn't get the invitation? Or there was nobody? Alan, Mauricio, let's accept the invitation. Or oh, Alan, I mean, there is I, the... only two. No, but I'm waiting for Alan and Mauricio. I don't know what happened. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, Mauricio is here. But um, Mauricio, can you hear us? Maybe I'm going to send you to a bigger group, okay? So you can practice more. So Anna and Victor, I will move you too. There you go. <laughs>
thanks everybody. And what did you do for last birthday? Email last birthday. In the afternoon, my girlfriend gave me one question. One moment. Gave? Gave? Uh, gave me a to the, to eat. Uh, no sé cómo decirlo, decente. What do you want Sería, to say? Uh, mi novia me llevó a comer. Ah, she took me to a restaurant. She, she put me. Took? You have to take. Uh, took. Ah, she took me a restaurant. And a restaurant. at night, my friend uh, gave me a... Uh, my friend... Uh, my friend made a... Um, barbacoa? A barbecue. 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 And this is in you, Eko. Okay, guys, let's do something to memorize the verbs, okay? Los verbos que usan sus compañeros, vayan anotándolos. Por ejemplo, eh, Javier usó gave. It's the past of give. And took. Took is the past of take. Okay, so write them down to start memorizing them. Okay. Uh -huh. Who else? What did you do for your last birthday? Um, Noel, for example. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> the camera. No, it would be great. No, no, no. Um, I don't remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to you. No, it's better that you send me what it was you, your last vacation, because I don't remember so well. Okay, he needs time. <laughs> and and Victor, what did you do on on your vacation? Last vacation, mm, I drank so much beer. <laughs> <laughs> sleep, so much sleep. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I don't remember, but uh, I went. We went to eat a place to a place that the food was very delicious. They have too much typical food and we taste, uh, uh, I don't remember what, how to say, platillos. Dishes. Dishes. No, no, no. No, platillos como una, como una receta. Dishes. Receipt, I guess. Receipt. So no, recipes uh, son recetas. Uh -huh. Recipes. Pero platillos es dishes. Dishes. Uh -huh. Recetas de platillos. No, no, no. Es decir, es que probé como una receta única ahí. Uh -huh. So I'm going to recipes. Oh, that's good. Yes, and, 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 you, Tatiana, and you, Tatiana, tell me about your last vacation. Last, last vacation, because this year no vacation, only home. Elizabeth say to say Crucero. Crucero. Ah, cruise. Been in room. <laughs> cruise, cruise to the room, cruise to the bathroom, cruise to the kitchen. And I learned to cooking um, <laughs> and so you Tatiana your last vacation, what did you do? Okay, um, I remember um, my last vacation and the first and we my family and me uh, when when at the beach. Uh, to the beach. To the beach. And okay. later, um, I will, uh, we arrived on the beach and I, we, we ate, from eat, ate. Eight. yes, ate is the pass of eat. Mm -hmm. We ate different food 
in my housing and I remember um, we swim. We swam. What's, what's it? Uh -huh. Swam is the past. We swam in the pool. Um, mm -hmm. I we we a lot of pictures. Sorry. Sí, no we took a lot of pictures. Is that what you mean? Come. Took a lot of pictures. Took the tomar. Uh -huh. Took the past. Ah, they said took. Uh -huh. We took a lot of pictures. Yes. All right, very good. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your last vacation. <laughs> Where did you go? What did you do? <laughs> okay, on my last vacation, I went to El Salvador because I live in Argentina. What? Ah, this was <laughs> okay. So I'm like, I'm no quiso preguntar, Sandra. <laughs> este, can you speak slowly, please? <laughs> okay. On my last vacation, I went to El Salvador because I live in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. Okay, so I, I saw a lot of friends. I went out to have dinner with them. I went to the beach, to the mountain, to the mall. Um, I visited my friends and family. That's it. I in had a Buenos Aires. No, in, our, in El Salvador. Uh, you? I you are Argentina. You are Argentina. Argentina. You are Salvador. Salvador. Salvador right now. I'm Salvadorian. No, right now, I'm in Argentina. Teacher, what? how do you say, uh, in qué país nació? Where were you born, or what's your nationality? Uh, where, where were you born? <laughs> in El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, sorry, but you are in El Salvador right now. No. In Argentina? Yeah, <laughs> Tenemos profesor internacional. Yes. Hay una de Colombia, creo. Y... En serio. Hay uno en Chile también. Había uno en Chile. Lo... Genial. Pero le decimos que ahorita aquí está lloviendo. It's raining. Look at the time. Yeah. Look. No horas. It's really okay. late here. Very late. Yes. Uh -huh. How, 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 Vaya, yo ya trabajaba en inglés corporativo antes de venirme. Y justo cuando yo me vine para Argentina, me dijo mi jefe que se iba a abrir la modalidad online. Estoy hablando hace dos años casi. Y me dijo que siempre iba a mantener mi contrato. Y bueno, así. Nunca me desligué de ellos. Tengo como cuatro años para, de trabajar para inglés corporativo. Tres, tres años. Really? Ya sé. We have a new hub that we can do teachers. <laughs> yes, it's a good idea. Actually, it is. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, you tell me. Y no se confunde con la hora, teacher. Ya no. Antes sí. Eh, Raúl, y usted durmiéndose. Y está temprano. <laughs> Let's include Raúl. Raúl se está durmiendo. Raúl, one question. Uh, For you. How much money? How much money do you earn? 
<laughs> That's a personal question. <laughs> but okay, to, to tell you something. You have to earn more? No, not at all. No, not at all. It's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. The salaries here are low. Um, so, yeah. That's well, why no I work in for El Salvador. <laughs> Venga, yo lo recibo. <laughs> Ahí, solo, solo con el pasaporte va uno, ¿verdad? Yes. Uno. Yes, you don't need anything else. Okay. I hate no, you, bro. coronavirus. I hate you, coronavirus. <laughs> Come over, Sandra. <laughs> I'm gonna receive you with my arms open. Okay, we have to go back, guys. Let's go back. Okay. Okay. How was your conversation? Was it interesting? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Do you know the verbs in the past? Or not yet? So, so. Yeah. So, so. Oh, so. okay that's good okay so let me see um, uh -huh. sandra asked me when was your where what did you do for your last vacation she asked me and i said i went to el salvador for my last vacation because look look at this can you see yeah. this yeah yeah see the time yeah no, look, <laughs> not that. <laughs> no, not the objective. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to show you. Look at this. Look. Ah. It's 12:45 a.m. 12:45. Where Here. do you Where do you live? In Argentina. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's why. What? <laughs> I think when we react I didn't I haven't told you that, but yeah. Wow. Really like here. But yeah. I international t shirt. Somebody. <laughs> 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 No, but I think, I don't know this module, but there used to be one teacher in Chile and another one in Colombia. I remember. I don't know right now, but in the past, in Inglés Corporativo, there was one in Chile and one in Colombia, too. And me here. Okay. Yep. And you in Argentina. Yes, but the majority, I mean, I'm Salvadorian, okay? And the guy in Chile okay. was also Salvadorian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, let's continue. And we're going to do one more thing. Can you read the objective, please, Esther? Do you, you want to read the lesson objective? Mm -hmm. You, please. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. By the end of the, this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements. In the past tense, using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English, for example, explaining where you were born and when you come to United States. These English conversation skill will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Oh, what a long objective. <laughs> All right, good. So uh, please get the notebooks ready. And if you still have questions, yeah, get the notebooks. If you still have questions about the conjugation or something, it should be clear here, okay, with the structures. You're gonna be given the structures here. Let's see, let's watch. Let's see how long this video is. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make pause and divert to me. Additionally, Positive and negative. Este no es el que vimos ayer, o sí? No. No. This is new. Okay, take notes. Please, please, please. He's the same guy. Yeah. He's my boss, actually. <laughs> is he where? Yeah. No, 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 no
No, then there's another, there's a lady, she's a teacher at Inglés Corporativo, and he is, he's the boss. All right. Then you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China, I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart, and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements, such as I was born in Argentina, and how to make negative statements, such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule, and that's the verb to be. So let me, uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept, and that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like, we were born in Argentina, um, you were born in Argentina, they were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Guys, can you do me a favor and would you please write the structure, this. Subject plus verb plus complement. Please write it down. Subject plus verb to be plus complement. Argentina. Okay. Yes, Last that is Argentina. only for the verb be, only for the verb be. For all the other verbs, it's this structure, right? The one here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And then what I want to say is I also want to give a negative statement. So I want to say I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red and I would like to color uh, the verb in green, and then the complement. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be, and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Uh, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China, right? I was born in Argentina, I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you, so therefore we're going to have to use the verb to be where, and in our negative statements that would be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina, and of course we can say you, and this will be in its negative form, so this will be you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will. Okay. Um, we are not going to discuss this. 
because we already practiced. Now, my question is, don't fall asleep, guys. <laughs> I told you that. <laughs> Les dije, con ese video ya se me han dormido, literalmente. Así. <laughs> but break down, pay attention so you don't fall asleep. I have one question for you. Did you finish discussing the questions? No, right? No. no. Okay. So we're going to do that for six minutes with different people, okay? But eh, comienzan desde la última pregunta, okay? Last question so that we don't repeat them. Okay, okay. we're going to practice for six minutes and finish the class with that. So I accept the invitations. Let me see. I'm going to recreate the rooms. I'm going to make a smaller group this time. Let me see. No. Same. Okay, accept the invitation. Let's get speaking before we finish. All right, here we go. Hi, Javier. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Uh, Okay. The, the last question I think is who, who did he? She sent for the WhatsApp group. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry. Anna. Okay, thank you. Talk about the last time you were really scared. Hmm. Did I? Sorry, but I don't have that questions. Can you share with me that that thing, Anna? Sorry. Oh, oh sorry. No, don't don't and understand me or what? Okay, tell me tell me about what you did for the last twenty four hours. Um, I was. Last time. Don't feel <laughs> yeah, sometimes I can I can say that. It 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 is it's not usual, but sometimes it, it's happened. But I can't remember right now the, the last Yes, okay, sorry. What was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Me or Raul? You? Me? Okay. Yes. The most difficult thing that I have to do is with this uh, quarantine, uh, my husband got the, the coronavirus and we had a very difficult... Yes. That's it. Yes. And you, Tatiana? What about you, Tatiana? Wow. Mm. For the last 24 hours, I was I was um, driving in in a horrible horrible traffic. And I was working. Um, I was. Um, I remember that he he tried to to spoke with me, and he, he asked me a gun. Yeah, he, he asked me for, for the hour. So I, 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 I remember that I say, man, uh, I live in Salvador. So I remember that, that I, I, I was to, or I, I tried to run it more fast. And, and then he, he didn't try to, to follow me. But for me, it was, was very scared. Scary. And he has a gun. Did he have? Mm, not that. He, not he really has a gun. I don't stop it for for look all all of that tools that that he has in the moment, right? That he had. Okay, but he has, I didn't yeah. stop. Very good. You're speaking in the past. I didn't stop to see all the the things he had. Uh, yes. Okay, um, what about you? What about the last time you were really tired? Mm. 
Victor o, o María? Um, I, uh, the, the last time you, I, I were really squarry is was in March when I returned from Mexico because I didn't know where they where they will send the mm -hmm. the gobierno because the the government may, the government because maybe I went to Kikilisco and I very scared but but uh, thanks God I I sent to hotel in Awashapan only Let's wait, they don't want to come back. Raul, you're tired. Hello? Hi, we're waiting for everyone. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I don't know that song. <laughs> you don't know that song. Well, but really, uh, you don't like or you don't know. I don't know it. You don't That's know. Okay. You have homework. <laughs> I don't. I don't. What does it say? What is the lyric? Don't cry for me, Argentina. Don't cry for me. For Madonna. For Madonna. Ah. Yeah, Madonna. Madonna sing that song. that song. Really? Okay. I'm going to look it up. Okay. Okay. Eh, ¿Quiénes no estuvieron en clase anoche? Mm. I did it. Uh, Sandra and Antonio. Okay. Manden su nombre y apellido al grupo para agregarlos a mis contactos. Okay. Because you have to be in class every night. So I want to be in touch okay so i will see you tomorrow guys thank you very much okay. have a beautiful okay. night bye good night everybody bye good night take care take care bye good dreams bye good dreams bye.